Clay, you want to start? Uh, I'm going to go with 108.57. A lot of the reasons I like it are the same reasons I like 1F. Maybe it's just new, and I like shiny new things. Uh, but it, it impressed me. So I'll go with that. Lou, how you doing? I'm good. This was, uh, this was a nice round, mainly because I'm already familiar with three of them. I came down the same way you did, Clay, except this time I'm going the other way. I'm, I'm going to stick with 1F. Um, I really did like number three. I thought it was uh, clean and um, some earthiness to it, uh, some really interesting oak. Instead of just oak, we got like some variation on that theme, and I, um, I like that. Uh, but I still go back to 1F. 1F is just, I don't mean to get weird, but it's the bourbon I'd marry. That is weird. Thank you. Vegas. Really tough, too tough to call at this point, but I am, as of now, score-wise, leaning towards 1F. Is that your final answer? Yeah, so I'll stick with it. Francesco, what say you? I enjoy the playfulness of number eight, but I, I was between 1F and 3, but I think 1F has... Uh, a very incredible DNA, so I've got one F. So, uh, for the exact reason that Francesco just said, I'm going with eight because I'm a playful guy. I did not like three up front, and then I went back to it. I liked it a lot more. Um, one F, uh, still can't wrap my head around it. Um, so I'm going eight just to be a naysayer. All right, I had to go through all three and add water again. Because at first it was it was between one F three and eight for me, three I could kind of exclude, but between the new ones three I like better than nine. But if I had to narrow it down between what I'm consistently drawn back to between one F and eight, but one F is definitely it. All right. Well, thank you, Tiffany. What do you think? You know what it is. As my grandma would say, Lou, I'm dancing at your wedding. I'm definitely marrying F. I could not wait to get back to this flight to find it. I actually kind of moved it around. Um, like you, Clay, three was good. Three was really good, but I was love at first sight or love at first taste for me on F. It's beautiful. Um, it's yummy. It has such a, a, a level of loveliness that at the end, you just can't wait to have more. It, I have a huge heart next to it. Seriously, I want to show you the heart. Obviously, Lou and I are fighting for the same person. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Jack, what say you? Uh, for me, I went back three times. Eight keep coming back. Um, eight was perfect balance, the perfect amount of sweetness. The finish was, I, I was tugging between eight and one F. And for me, eight had just the perfect balance of that cherry, those beautiful, what you expect from a nice bourbon. And I can drink this all day. So I'm going with eight. Fair enough. Thank you. That takes us to Louisville. I got to say, you know, when we did the straight bourbon taste off, it was... It was very close and it came down to my vote and I really liked one of them. What was very close, it was a very close second for me, was, was 1F. And I changed my vote because of the disdain that so many other judges had. And I, I moved my vote to F and I'm really glad I did. I'm really, really glad I did because it is leaps and bounds the best bourbon on this table for me. The only thing that came close to it was three, and it was just a touch too hot for me, but 1F is so complete, it's so balanced, and that's my vote. All right, Susan, what do you think? I was all about three, and I'm, I'm going to quote a distiller, a woman distiller I've met in Texas, who says, uh, there are no strong bourbons, only weak men, Fred. So just... <laughs> By the way, that's sexist. I know it is, yeah. <laughs> and it was fun. Uh, but <laughs> but I, I really like three. It was like coconut, chocolate, almonds. It was sort of like a merging of a, a Mounds and an Almond Joy Bar. Mm. And it was, to me, just spot on. Very nice. 
I, you know, the last round, actually, uh, Fred, you made a comment about 12 not standing out in this round and 100% correct. So these other four definitely stood out. Um, 1F, I thought, was fine. Um, but I'm not saying this out of fear of Susan's quote, but, I mean, three... <laughs> Three actually did stand out a lot to me. Um, the spice kind of is what I embrace. Um, I like a good secondary finish. Um, you can just taste that oak just a little bit more. Um, and it lingers on your palate more than the rest of these guys. So, I mean, three, three is going to be the one for me. I have to say, this was hard. I agree with him somewhat that I feel like 12 was an outlier that somehow made its way into this group. I had a brief love affair with Nine. Nine kind of captured my attention a little bit, but ultimately when I got down to kind of speed dating these bourbons, it was 1F3 and Nine, and it came down to 1F first three. Oh. And <laughs> I sort of have to say, I think I like three. It's got a funk to it. It is what we think, 132 plus proof. It's delicious. I have to say, this is kind of one of those horse races where it's just a nose. For me, personally, three, just a nose over 1F. I would take both. If somebody told me 1F1, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset because 1F is uh, a beautiful bourbon. Oof. This is tight, John. I really thought with all those speed dating references that you were going to come down on the marriage thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got really excited, and I was like, wait, he's not... He's not coming to the same wedding. Like, we're going to this wedding together. I saw the let down in your face. <laughs> so I could, if we sat here for another 20 minutes, I could be convinced that 1F was the winner. Oh, oh, two minutes with me and we could I, we could convince you. I, I don't doubt that. It's, it is <laughs> yeah. a fantastic bourbon. Well, we do have a winner and it is 1F. Hey! There you go.